It's one thing to be able to just see a doll sheep, you know, a speck through a piece of glass, binoculars on a hill, very distant. It's another to be able to live and breathe and, and be amongst them. But to actually lay your hands on one, to feel the curl of the horns, to look and feel the bristles of the hair, the, the majesty to be able to be in that moment with such an unattainable creature, it's something that's nearly impossible to describe. Sheep hunting is completely about time and distance. And you never know whether today is gonna be hours and miles, minutes and feet, or inches and seconds. I mean, and it can go from, you know, right now we're 3,000 miles away from the Brooks Range and we're a couple weeks away. And then it comes down to a couple days and then we'll be a couple miles. You know, sometimes we've, we've had a couple hunts there with my dad where we didn't get a ram, you know, if we'd been there five minutes earlier, if his shot had been a couple inches truer, it comes down to that inches and seconds, but it starts at days and miles. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm an avid outdoorsman. My father was an avid outdoorsman. His father was an avid outdoorsman. So why wouldn't I take the opportunity to create a business in the outdoor industry? My company, Bow Spider, has grown over the years, and it's created a unique environment where I can take my family, we can go out and we can enjoy the outdoors. We can never miss those moments. We can share in the wonder uh, that surrounds us every day. Oh, we're here in the Fairbanks airport getting ready to depart. It'll be a 12 hour drive from here and then we'll be doing some serious climbing for a couple days and then I'll tell you what I think. As the whole <laughs> weather I see outside holds I'm stoked. We're heading north on the Dalton Highway. We're gonna come go on an epic adventure. We've got 10 days of food, backpacks, firearms, bows. We've got a whole bunch of tags. So we're just gonna go see what we can find. This is one of the last adventures up here in the Brooks Range for Dad and I together. Here we are guys, this is Gobbler's Knob. That's pump station five right there and this is the start of the Brooks Range. Tomorrow we'll be hiking in those and we'll get a lot closer look at how steep they actually are. They don't look like much from here, but they're pretty intimidating. Dad and I are getting ready to go hike in. We've got our packs all loaded. We've been scouring through gear this morning. There's sheep in them hills behind us somewhere, but this was the drainage we were going to hike in. As you can see, it's a little crowded. So we're going to go find a backup plan, probably D at the moment. I'm too old for this, Dad. <laughs> Get a black, buddy. Gracious Heavenly Father, as we uh, begin this endeavor to enjoy camaraderie out in your great wilderness that you've created for us. Please watch over and protect us. Make sure we return safely to our families and help us to grow and learn and see see the world through your eyes. We say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. At some point in time on a trip like this, you know, we're crossing the stream every every few minutes, just hundreds and hundreds of stream crossing, hiking up into this country. You get the feeling and you, you, society fades away, the worries of home and work and stress, and it's just that single goal and mission of moving upstream and, you know, especially in this Brooks Range, you know, that human beings just don't don't belong. We, we cannot survive here year round. I'm gonna go 
up and over that next distant ridge. And that's where we're going to set base camp. And we'll start doing some day hunts from there, see if we can find a sheep. If we can't, we'll move one more drainage in tomorrow. Then we'll find some sheep. This may be the last great day, or this may be the first of nine great days. <laughs> it's sheep hunting. This is the part of sheep hunting I still like. There you go. Sitting on the mountain, trying to look at sheep. Well, we got a whole bunch of mosquitoes, but besides that, on about the furthest ridge that way, I can see two sheep. What kind of sheep they are, I don't know. But we just got done hiking all day today, and we're gonna sleep, get a good sleep in, and get some food in us. Get back on our nice little gravel river path and hike up. They're about three miles up there, so. They're just out feeding and sunning themselves this evening. They'll be right there somewhere tomorrow. This is day number two. We're just having fun up here sheep hunting in the mountains. This Brooks Range is still, I mean, every day you wake up it's a new surprise, it's a new adventure. We did a little over five miles yesterday. Not a ton of elevation, a lot of creek crossings. Today will be a mixture. We're gonna do about three miles, I think, three to four. Not much elevation, a lot more creek crossings, but we found a couple sheep last night that we need to put an eyeball on. So we're gonna hike to the drainage that they fed out of last night late. They just, I think they fed off the backside. They should hopefully still be there, but it's sheep hunting. We may never see them again. It's uh, just shy of that far distance ridge you can see. So, I have a sheep tag, guys. I brought the bow. If we get an opportunity, I'm gonna harvest a sheep with a bow. But what that does is, Alaska changed the laws here a few years ago. My dad's my non-resident guide, so if I harvest a sheep, that goes against his bag limit. That means he doesn't get to harvest a sheep. I've already got one hanging on the wall. So we're, the goal here is we're gonna get a sheep, whether it's with the bow or with the rifle, whether dad tags it or I. We don't know yet. We'll see. You guys can see that life in the brooks isn't easy for any of us. Some of us pay the ultimate price and somebody's been eating all the calcium out of these antlers. Probably, you know, a smaller marmot, wolverine. There's, a, there's still a lot of calories left even in just something like that. And this is a tough place to survive. Well, behind me you can see where we camped last night. We're about halfway to where I want to camp tonight. This sheep hunting is about miles and days, and it comes down to yards and seconds. And you never know is today a couple miles and one more day till we get there? Or is today, hey, a couple more yards and a couple seconds? That's where they could be. In my experience, you know, sheep hunting, it's truly an adventure, but people either, either get it, you get the bug and you just can't get it out of your system, or they do it once and they never come back again. I don't know if I'm just thick in the head love struck or, or crazy but i really do love being up here chasing these amazing critters i mean just just the thought of every other critter leaves and abandons these mountains for the winter and these sheep just stay here and say yeah no big deal it's crazy right here behind me is the ridge that the sheep were on last night 
we picked up that drainage a little bit. We can't see all of it, but right up there, we just spent about an hour, hour and a half glassing it, what we could see of it. There was a couple sheep in there, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hike the very next drainage north of it, and then we'll uh, go all the way to the top and peek in from over the top, just so that we'll be above them if they're still in there. Not a ton of grass, so it's doubtful they're still there, but we're in the sheep country now. It's been another little over four miles today. our first sheep of the trip. It's a really young band of rams. We're just looking for their grandpas, but we're in the right spot now. How do four white dots hide on us like that? I don't have my contacts in, but I can, once I looked up there, I could see them pretty easily, but. They must have all been bedded right on that ridge. In those rocks? Where that one bedded? Yeah. And that one that spotted us. Yeah. Can you believe that? That's crazy. I'm sure it's when I moved up here to the We might have already had it today. Surprise me to catch another one in the bottom down there. Well, we started at just over a thousand feet. We're just under five now. We've done, oh, I don't know, 10, 11 miles. We got a couple more to go to get to where I want to look over in the next main drainage. You know, there's rams here. This is uh, this is my dad and I's third trip. It's actually our fourth trip. My very first one was successful. We've gone two others before this to try and get dad a ram. And I think this will be, this will be lucky number three or this will be the last one he's already made made mention that he's that he's gonna be 60 64 this year so he's a trooper for just coming and going with us this time we made it we're at the in this uh, well, what I like to call the head of sheep basin up no tell them Creek it's been three days of grind I don't know like I said the, the the summit's six and we started just above one. And we've done, I don't know, 12, 13 miles. But as soon as we look off this backside, I expect to see a few rams. About a mile away we found four more sheep. We're gonna have to hike a little closer, get a little better look. It's getting late this evening, so we'll wait. Just below that snow bank you see in the horizon. starving I don't know what I'm doing we've been looking at sheep it's been fun I'm kind of excited tomorrow's gonna be a great day but I do have one piece of old sheep hunting wisdom and it's from Confucius he says go to bed with itchy bum wake up with stinky finger just another day in the brooks
followed some sheep out there last night, a long ways off. Looked like a band of rams to me. We woke up this morning with this rain and fog, so we're gonna lose about 1,500 feet, 2,000 feet elevation out this next saddle that we're camped through. We're gonna go put a good eyeball on them sheep, and hopefully, you know, I'm pretty optimistic. I got my sunglasses. The sun's gonna pop out. We're gonna have a beautiful day. Oh, I see him now. Sitting right up under that heavy rim rock. I think I'm gonna leave my pack and stuff back up and climb up underneath him. Well, today the uh, white wolf was a little more cunning than me. You know, they're just like anything else on this planet. They need to be managed and trimmed and thinned. We can actually hunt five wolves while we're in here. So, you know, if, if the wolves go unchecked, they eat all the sheep and caribou. If there's no sheep and caribou left, the wolves die of starvation. But if we take a few wolves out of the population now, it, it tends to balance everything out. We satisfied my curiosity. We saw a wolf. We saw about 30 plus lambs and ewes all over on this face across from us. Haven't found that ram. Dad gave up a couple hundred yards ago. He's got his feet out of his boots and sunning himself. You know, in Alaska, sometimes you just gotta lose yourself to find yourself. As we're looking at a ram, it's about seven o'clock at night. We're about two and a half hours from where we dropped our tents. He's about an hour hike from here, each way. So we don't know if he's legal or not. It's about, he's about 2,000 yards away at the moment. Looks like the closest ridge we're gonna get up on him is a five to 900 yard shot. And then we're out of terrain. It's a, <laughs> it's a 20 hour hike to get around and above him. We can get parallel with him up a different ridge. So if I was feeling fresh, we'd just bonsai over there. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll let you know.
Well, we had a ram at about two feet today. There's a quarter curl, but he was still at two feet. We've hiked out another ridge. Still no sheep. It's been an awesome day. We uh, got a couple hour walk back to camp. We got two more ridges we can check from camp. It's sheep hunting. Sheep hunting is tough, and you put a lot of effort into it. In fact, you put so much effort into it that at the end of the day, you almost feel like you're entitled to a sheep, but that's not what the Brooks gives. So we need to have a little analytic, you know, game plan session. Okay. Well, we have, I have five meals left. How many meals do you have left? How many days of food you got left? Not counting din tonight's dinner. I have four days worth of food. All right. So I'm a little worried our creek is drying up down the hill. So it's going to make fetching water. Uh, we're going to earn it. We're going to earn it. Hellacious task. I mean, we've... We saw plenty of sheep today, we just didn't see anything that was worth chasing. Well, I don't want to push the envelope. I mean, I got flights and I don't want to push it to the last second of the last day. You know, we need to, we have a day drive just down this road to the airport. So, I like the idea of going to our old camp from three years ago. I don't like the idea of the elevation. And I'm worried about over there having any water, you know. That could be, I, I remember we had to go quite a ways down that hill to get water at one point in time. So, well, I say we do some glassing tonight. We'll think about it and make a decision tomorrow. We ran out for a late evening glass and scout. There's a small half curl ram. Oh, just a quarter mile from camp here. It's not legal. While we were sitting there, two drainages away where we were thinking about moving camp and setting up for our last couple days, we heard one single rifle shot here. So I'm, I'm rethinking our strategy again as far as I don't know that we want to go camp with some other hunters. So we have a lot of country this way, but that's all further away from the truck. So. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. If you uh, see this wonderful ridge here behind me, there's a ram that's, I think, past full curl. The only problem is he is uh, above that heavy rim and below the, the vertical rim. There's no way for us to get to him from here. And even if we got over there, we're gonna watch him for a day and see if he moves somewhere better, a better ambush position. He's only two hour hike from here away. And he's, I think he's past full curl from here, or he's right at it. So, we're gonna keep a close eye on him. We finally found a ram. See that, that pinnacle, that middle one? We hike all the way around and we have to come up on top of it. And I'm worried about that head wall being, can we get over that last head wall? I, there's a saddle there, but it's a day and a half hike to figure out if we can come in through that way. Well, that's the... If we watch him for a couple hours and he feeds down into that basin, you remember that ridge yeah. we could run up? I don't know how far the shots will be. It's going to be midday and hot. He's going to bed solid. The best time to move where we can't see him is midday. So we watch that basin to make sure he doesn't come out. We bonsai over there. Okay. And this evening, this afternoon, we start climbing up. He'll be up mobile, but... That gives us two days. We're camped down there off the bottom. We'll be able to glass quite a bit of it, right? We'll have to climb back this way to glass a little bit, right? We'll have to climb up to our knob. Yeah. So, okay, well, let's go get camp. It's either that or take camp out there and then we just day hunt out there, but now we're not day hunting anywhere. We're just hunting from camp. Good idea. It's a day hike to haul camp to the top, and then it's a day hike out. You got four days left. You got two days to try and get him killed. That's it's the best we can do. That's the best option I've seen so far. Everything else is less less positive. Even though I'm not excited about the location. Well. 
there's a chance because he doesn't want to go uphill right now. I, he stays in there. He's already in a better position than he was an hour ago. Yeah. So, you two go get your camp. I'll keep eyes on him. And then I'll go back and get my camp. And then we'll, midday while it's hot, we'll make a play. I think he'll be there. Sheep selfie. Sheep selfie. <laughs> They're right there. The big one's up the hill. It's been several days of grueling misery. Okay. Well, we've had a good day. Uh, we made it right above that snow is your ram. I know. But it took us all day to get here. It'll take us tomorrow to get there. It'll take all day tomorrow to get there. We got what? Three days left. We got a day to get him killed. An extra day if we don't kill him, and then we got to start hunting out. Yep. And out is up that drainage. Oh, boys, we it's. It's do or die, it's our second to last day. We found one ram the whole trip. He's up in the high basin above the snow, above some cliffs and below others. We've dropped everything but the essentials. We're going in super light and we're gonna go kill him. Way up there. Hopefully you guys will get a nice close look at him here this afternoon. Sweat management, and I think it's insane to go up there. I think I'm gonna turn the camera back on when we get to that first ledge. We'll see you there, I guess, huh? See you there.
stands up after your first shot, he might present you with a better one. World worst rest here. Can't get the back of the rest of the I can't get it. How is it? Not really, but you kill him, you kill him. What? I'm getting ready here. Are you ready? Yep. You got him. That shot drilled him. Woohoo! Nice job. Woohoo! Woo I think we just got her done. This is the second to last day. We come up something that was impossible. Camp's over there. This ram moved 50 yards and had us pegged for days. What do you think? 30 yards. 130 it. yards. 430. 430. <laughs> 430 yards and we pegged it. It just dropped went, it. Whoop. Just laid them down. And we only had a teeny spot to yeah. get. What do you think, Dad? We got a hell of a bit of hiking left. That's a that's a quite a day in the brooks. That is a day in the brooks. Very lucky. Very, very lucky. Yep. Find a sheep from two and a half miles away and sneak up on it and shoot it. That's luck. It was two, it was, as the crow flies, it was 2.5 miles from where I spotted him two days ago now? Ye yesterday morning, believe it or not. Dad. Yesterday morning. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Holy crap, Batman. That's a lot of climbing. Seven days and 17 miles. Wow. And we still have sheep on the hill. Uh, well, I guess the fun starts, boys. Nine and a half year old ram. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Do we get to be done? We're done. We're done. I'm not sure I'm going to do this again. Don't ask me about today. 60 what? 64 and a half. 65 years old and you got your first ram. Wow. Just Glad to be here Thanks, with you, Dad. Thanks. Glad to be here. This is awesome. This is awesome. How do you, how do you top that? How do you top that? What's that? Two or one? This is land tips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten years old. Ten years old. Right, that might be a. No, that's see, that's his double. So okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and a half. Oh, that's your toe, not a rock. Wow, 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 wow. Well, let's see if we can prop him up and get a picture. I don't think we can. Joe wants to. He, he didn't help us out much. No, he didn't. didn't help us out much. Great day, great day. We hiked two and a half miles, moved camp, hiked another mile and a half to get here. Two days ago, we spotted this guy up here, right? Two mornings yesterday ago? morning ago from, not yesterday, yesterday morning we saw. Him. All day yesterday we moved camp. So we were about a mile from where he was bedded, but it's a, it was three quarters up. It was a quarter across the flat. <laughs> two, two more creek crossings today. 
and then it was 420 yards. Bedded above us. We thought he'd be one more bench up and we were gonna sneak around and get above him. And we come out and he'd come down the mountain a little bit and had us pegged pretty good. And we had, we had he was bedded be, almost behind a rock and we had no real good shot. But we had a small target and we took it. One shot, and he tipped over. He's a nine and a half year old ram. And he's just a great, great representation of what a doll sheep should be. Lamb tips are there, not broken. You can see some battle scars here from him pounding other sheep. He's been boss dog for a few years up here. Very cool, very ecstatic. We did the happy dance when we found him. This is my dad and I's third, third trip. Sheep. First one we shot, a sheep. This is our first successful, three tries. And what, how old will you be this year? 65, 65. So yeah. I'm just happy to be here. It's only 17 miles from the truck, give or take a mile. And only a little bit of elevation. <laughs> only a little bit every day. <laughs> oh. That doesn't count the, the in-between hikes we did to try and find a sheep. Well, what, what would you say to guys that want to come do this, that are, that are retired age? You better be prepared. You better do your, you better do your homework and you better do your, your, your hikes. You better, be carry, you better be taking your water for a walk. Dad puts gallon jugs in his hunting backpack and walks up and down the road every day getting ready. And I didn't do that enough. I needed to put a few more hills and a, a little bit miles, but we got here and we got it done. I go slow, but I go. We made it. I think this is the last one, Dad. I think so. I'm not, I'm not ready to sign up for another one. Not the way we did it. We still have all day moving this guy. Go grab camp, move it. And then we have two full days to hike back out to the truck. And we're, as the crow flies, we're about 11, 12 miles from the truck right here. It took 17 miles to get here, but we have 11 miles to the truck. And we have seven miles on our back to the truck, give or take, and a couple thousand feet of elevation up and down, and then a couple down. But hey, it's just a day in the brooks. I like it when a plan comes together. We spotted him, watched him, and this sheep hunting, the only sport where you go in with a heavy backpack, you come out with a heavier one. 422 yards. We just finished a nine mile death march with our sheep and our camp. More importantly, this is dad and mine's very first camp in the Brooks Range. We, we camped here. Three years ago. Three years ago we camped here our first night. We looked at the country around us and kind of said, oh shit. <laughs> we just descended 3,000 feet and a half mile give or take some change, but and part of that was pushing rocks with our feet because the whole mountain went with us. But I'd say that what you persist in doing becomes easier to do. Not that the nature of the thing has changed, 
but your ability to do has increased. We, we persisted, Dad. We got her done. We <laughs> did do it. And a lot of it was the luck of the brooks. Not, I mean, we could, we probably were, spent 10% more effort and were 2% smarter than last time. But the luck of the brooks changed for us this trip. We saw nine rams last time, several legals. We saw one legal ram this time. And I mean, I held my bow. I never got a shot at anything. That's, that's hunting in Alaska. We did get closer to a ram than we ever have been. <laughs> yes, we did. We almost touched one, which that's rare. Well, guys, that's our sheep hunt. We're going to boogie on out tomorrow to the truck, and then it's on to cheeseburgers. It's only 11 o'clock, and the sun gun let down about a half hour ago, but we're north of the Arctic Circle, so sometime later tonight it might get a little more dusky than it is, but not much. It's only 10.50. Okay. We'll be to bed before midnight. There you go.